the word excess hydrochloric acid was in that problem, then we would have made the H2CO3. So with acid-base problems, you're going to look for the two words, equal molar and excess. And if, this, if it is a, uh, a, a diatomic acid or a triatomic acid, you're going to add the appropriate number of hydrogens to it based on if it's equal molar or if it's excess. I think you meant triprotic and triprotic. Oh, well, what did I say? Triatomic. I'm sorry, yes, I did mean diprotic and triprotic. Okay, sorry but about you that. got the idea. That's all right. That's why, That's we're why there's both here. two of us did it together. All right, number four, dilute acetic acid. Okay, now acetic acid is added to solid. Now, if it's solid, it's sticky together. Mm -hmm. it together. Magnesium carbonate. I'll go to the blank screen. All right. Acetic acid. Now, would I read that to split it or leave it? I'm going to leave it because that is a weak acid. Okay, and it's added to solid magnesium carbonate, yep. which is MgCO3. Mm -hmm. Play the charts game. I'm doing this fast, but I'm expecting if you need to pause and ask questions. And it's solid, so we're going to leave it together. Ask, okay. Right. And this is a solid, so something's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. If you see a carbonate, this is very important. Any, the whole carbonate. Thing. Yeah. Anytime you see a carbonate as part of uh, one of your things here, and it combined with an, an sorry, go ahead. Yeah, combined with an acid, you're going to get a very special reaction. So let's actually talk ourselves through this one. Mm. T t I want you to think of this roughly just as a double replacement reaction. Yep. If you were to think of this double replacement reaction, it's kind of old school. You'd write Mg, and then you'd say C2H3. O2, 2, yep. plus H2CO3. Right. Now, let's chat about magnesium acetate first. That's easy. Mm -hmm. What's the story on acetates? The acetates are, are part of the no group, and so they're going to be soluble. So, so we're going to ignore them. The, this is going to separate. So this is actually sort of wrong. So it's going to turn into magnesium 2 positive plus acetate. Now, you think this is acceptable, but here's something I want you to understand, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, that whenever you make carbonic acid in an acidic environment, it does not make carbonic acid. Nope. It breaks apart. It's kind of like a secondary reaction. Yeah. It breaks apart into water and carbon dioxide. If yeah. you think about this. So it's secondary the, decomposition is what happens. It's secondary yeah. decomposition, so it makes water plus carbon dioxide. So any time H2CO3 is a product and it's in an acidic environment, you're going to make it H2O and CO2. So this is the product here. Now let's have talk ourselves. Is there anything I should cancel out? Are there any spectators here? Well, not in this case because both of our reactants are stuck together. They did not dissociate because the magnesium carbonate is a solid. The acetic acid is a weak acid, so it didn't dissociate. So there are no spectators in this one. Now, have we got a balanced equation? Uh, hmm. Uh, it looks pretty balanced yes, to me. Do. Yep. Wait. No, no. H's. No, H's. You're right. Two of those and two acetates. Mm -hmm. Now we're good. Yep, there, we go. there it is. Because this made C, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, C yeah. right here. Okay. Yep. I believe we have just one more, Mr. Uh, well, I see two more here, but Oh, really? That's we it. may have to, uh, I don't have it on the slideshow, but oh, we will maybe go ahead and add it. <laughs> yeah, that's we right. have the technology to add we it for the show. All right, sulfur trioxide gas is added to excess water. You, Ooh, boy, you can't sulfur get this one. trioxide. I did it in the examples earlier. Yeah. Sulfur trioxide that's is a added to water. That's a non-metal oxide, which always makes an just acid. So, again, together. just smush them together. H2SO4. Correct? Correct. No. no correct. we got to split it up because that's a strong acid. And to balance two of two. So this is sort of incorrect. If you wrote that yep. as sort of a separate step, that would be okay. Yep. And it looks like on my slideshow, I am missing the next slide. So we'll yes. just go ahead and do it right here. It says powdered magnesium oxide. Yep. So when it says powdered, what state of matter would That's that be? a solid. So MgO solid. It's put in a container of carbon dioxide gas. So what do we have? What kind of deal? That's do we a have? metal oxide combined with a non-metal oxide. So that's the one we just smoosh together and make a salt. And the salt would be Mg. CO3. Just add everything up together. No, it's not in water. Nope. Uh, so we cannot dissociate it. It wouldn't nope. dissociate it anyways because mm -hmm. it's not a nacolmoso. So that's how we do that. So um, should I try my fluid again here? You can try. I'm not sure you're going to have much luck. Hey, I made a noise. Down. There's a noise. Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a... Yeah. It's very bad. Why I, am I this is definitely me? not my yeah. instrument. I'm going to have to stick to chemistry today. To a different instrument. Yep. All right. See you in class, guys. Bye. Bye.